Look, I know we're not running against President Bush, but we are running against the very economic policies that John McCain is pledging to continue. Bush economic policies. Policies, policies that call for more tax cuts for companies that send jobs overseas. Policies that call for providing no relief for 100 million middle class families. Policies that call for taxing your health care benefits if you get them through your employer. Taxing them as if they are income. I'm not making this stuff up, folks. I'm not making this stuff up. Part of the McCain health care plan, part of the McCain health care plan would actually require to make substantial cuts in Medicare. Well, ladies and gentlemen, people are hanging on, just barely hanging on lots of places. The policy of this administration of George Bush that is extended and added to by John McCain, calling for $4 billion per year in new tax cuts for the Exxon Mobiles of the world. As if they need it. As if they need it. Folks, I love it when I watch on television on the bus or when I get back to the hotel late at night, I turn on and there's John and Sarah Palin, and they're up there saying, no, 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 they're good folks, they're good folks. But, I, but here's the part I love. Hey, Maverick, I'm a Maverick, you're a Maverick. We're the Maverick team, right? You know, Brett and Bart Maverick. I mean, they're the Mavericks, right? Well, you know what? <laughs> to, par to paraphrase a friend of Bill Nelson and mine, our colleague from Pennsylvania, a brilliant young senator named Bob Casey. Bobby Casey, to paraphrase him, he said, you know, you can't call yourself a Maverick if all you've been the last eight years is a sidekick. Well, folks, it's George W. Bush and the sidekicks. That's what we're talking about. We're not mavericks.